In 2004, Green Day released American Idiot and promptly revolutionized rock music. Hailed by Time Magazine as a masterpiece, the album launched the band into superstardom, selling over 12 million copies and winning the Grammy for Rock Album of the Year. While on Broadway, Tony Award-winning director Michael Mayer was assembling one of the most innovative teams in the theater to join with Green Day and bring American Idiot to the stage. The idea of theatricalizing this album came to me just from listening to it over and over again and hearing a very strong emotional narrative. I was able to hear a really um, intense, beautiful story right away. There's so much here that feels like it's new and fresh and pushing the boundaries that I think that when all is said and done, American Idiot is going to have a very important place in this rich uh, art form of musical theater. If you're going to do a rock opera, you got to do it right. Don't want to be an American Idiot. The stage version of American Idiot had its world premiere at Berkeley Rep in September 2009. After two extensions and one record-breaking run later, the move to Broadway was inevitable. Uh, I play the character of Johnny, a.k.a. the Jesus of Suburbia. I kind of lead my friends into this catharsis of what, there's got to be something else out there. I don't know what it is. I think immediately in the first time that you see our, our characters um, meet, there's this very quick kind of like, there's something about you that does something to me. We've always thought that somehow it, 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 there should be some sort of stage version because that's what we were thinking in our heads, you know. The musical arrangements that Tom Kitt did, you know, I mean, it's amazing. And their, their energy is just, it's just inspiring.